Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to find, edit, and customize shortcuts in Gmail. So, if you are looking for Gmail shortcuts, you are in the right spot. I'm going to show you how to find, use, and customize shortcuts in Gmail. If you want to know why or how you should use shortcuts, links down below will take care of you. How to find shortcuts. There is a shortcut for that. Uh, it is this, shift and question mark, or the question mark. So shift, question mark, there are your shortcuts. Uh, you can scroll down and see all of them. That's it, shift, question mark. It's that easy. Uh, what else can I tell you? That's it. Which shortcuts to use, Josh? That's a good question, uh, but that's a personal preference. I am happy, however, to provide some recommendations and demonstrations. So first, I would just say review the list of shortcuts, the one we just looked at, and pick one that interests you, try it out. Second, consider the things you do the most in Gmail. Okay, what's your need? Find a shortcut that allows you to do that thing quicker and implement, uh, meet your need. Uh, still not sure where to start? I would say uh, if you need a jump start, please go ahead and check out video, video 58 down below. That'll get you started on the four most important shortcuts uh, that I believe are helpful to emptying your inbox. How to customize your shortcuts. Uh, part of the answer to the rest of the question that brought you here. So if you want to edit, update, or customize your shortcuts, uh, you got to remember this feature is by default turned off in Gmail, so you need to enable it first. To do that, we're gonna, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to show you how. So settings. See all settings, advanced, custom keyboard shortcuts, enable, save changes. So here we go. Settings, see all settings, advanced, custom keyboard shortcuts, enable, there it is, and save changes. That's it. Then, to edit or customize your shortcuts, you're going to go to basically the same stuff here, settings, see all settings, advanced. Here's where it gets different. Keyboard shortcuts is now going to show up, and that's where you're going to go to edit your shortcuts. So edit and save changes. So settings, wheel, see all settings, uh, keyboard shortcuts that is now visible to us because we have enabled it. And here are all your shortcuts. So all you need to do is change any of the shortcuts that are already here. So if I didn't want that to be Q, let's say I wanted it to be P, there you go. And then save changes. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to change what I got going on already. All right, that's it. Uh, I do have a pro tip for you. Uh, use shortcuts like a superhuman if you're interested. Uh, and taking control and crushing your inbox, if that interests you, uh, and, and you want to learn how to use shortcuts plus auto advance and the send and archive button to crush your inbox or to own your inbox, if all of this goodness uh, is, is interesting to you, it's packed into video 58 linked down below. Uh, and if you'd like some more, this video brought the know how. Uh, check out my other videos to learn more of the know why this was helpful, please like, subscribe, share with your friends who might find it useful or helpful. And if you would also please remember, uh, you can reach me in the uh, outline in the comments down below. And if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Thank you for watching and have a great day.